Is my screen visible? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Okay. Uh, first, we revise what we had studied as complete syllabus. And we have, uh, I add some more things here also. Okay. What's that? Uh, it's time period 6th CE, CE or 7th CE to 14th or 15th CE. That's the time period of Yoga Vashish. Okay. And then I have mentioned everything. Yes, Brahma, Advaita Vedanta is Brahmavad. Uh, this holds that whole world of th things is the object of mind. Okay. We have clear it. Um, before the text is notable for expounding the principles of Maya and Brahma, which text this yoga system as well as principles of non duality, Advaitva, and also discussion of yoga. That's why this is in our syllabus. Okay, next is Vasistha Raman Chandrika by Advarayan, Tatparya Prakash by Anand Bodendra Saraswati. And here is I editing some uh, Bhasya by Ganga Dharendra. Okay. Pad, Pad Chandrika by Madhav Saraswati. Yoga Vashisht Hridayu. Hrida Hridayamu. Okay. Yoga Vashisht Hridayamu. In seven parts by Kuppa Venkata Krishna Murthy. He's from. Um, I think Tamil Nadu. Okay. Next is Yoga Vashistha Ratnakaram by Swami Vidya Prakashan, Prakashananda Giri. Okay. Anyone have doubt? Should we move? Am I audible? Yes, ma'am. Okay. These are six per Next is um, yes, Anita ji. Yes, ma'am. Please tell me what are the uh, discussion in Vairagya prakaran. It talks about the uh, uh, renunciation, Mama. Uh, how uh, the method, of how we should, uh, uh, like Vairagya, say the same word Vairagya, we should follow the things. Ma'am, your voice is breaking. Uh, what you said, ma'am? Aarti ji. Yes, ma'am. Yes, you tell me. Uh, where are you, Parakaran? Yes. Yes, ma'am. Uh, there is a discussion about the renunciation where are you? When a person gets tired from the worldly desire, worldly things, and then he wants the detachment from the world. Uh -huh. Good. Okay. Uh -huh. um, next is Utpati Sthiti Prakara. Three states of living being present in which Prakara? Brindaji. 
three states of living beings. It is Uttapati Prakaran, no? 14 categories of living beings. Three states of living being. Three states of living being, waking, dreaming, deep sleep. Are present in Stiti Prakar. Okay? Stiti Prakar. Okay. They directly ask sim very simple question which uh, that Sapta Bhumika are present in which Prakaran for four Dwarpal are which present Prakaran simply questions. Okay. Uh, Fourth Dwarpala present only in Mumakshi, right? Right. Hmm. So, first is uh, Sham. Sham, you all got what uh, about Sham? Yes, ma'am. Is Ushaji please uh, clear out in two or three lines what is Sham? Shun is mainly described as peace. Being in a peaceful state, this person uh, is liked by everybody, has no enemies whatsoever. Anybody can become friends with him. So um, he is compared to Lord Vishnu. This person who has Shun wouldn't have any hmm. enemy. Hmm. Yeah, very good. Shun means Shiva. Okay. Next is Vichar. Uh, yesterday we have cleared out Vichar. Uh, yeah. Yes, yes, ma'am. Hmm. Yes, ma'am. So Vichar is like it gives us, uh, it sharpens our intellect. It is a great medicine for the disease of this world. Okay. And this is the ultimate refuse for gentlemen in the times of sorrow. In the times of sorrow, thoughts are playing main role. Thoughts destroys the great attachment that destroys one sense. Okay, here everyone, everywhere you can uh, you see thought, uh, you had to understand that this is. Uh, Vivek thinking, okay. Thinking of um, knowledge, thinking of wisdom. Next is we are uh, is santosh, contentment, satisfaction is called ultimate credit and ultimate happiness. What satisfaction called ultimate credit, ultimate happiness we got by santosh. To a person with immense happiness of satisfaction, even the happiness of a huge empire seems like a blade of grass, means a stick. If any person following that santosh, contentment, satisfaction, then what he get, uh, if he has a, a lot of huge empire, then it uh, seems like a simple stick, um, a grass, okay? A contented person is not devoid of happiness, even in the most difficult situation. Those who have drunk the nectar of contentment get incomparable enjoyment. Means they are, every time they are enjoying themselves. Okay? No any situation can distract them. The person who does not desire for attainable things, and who enjoys the pleasures and pains received successfully, uh, sorry, respectively, is con content. Okay? You are getting this point? Yes, Aarti ji? Yes, ma'am. Please uh, make me understand this line. The, uh, the person who has no attachment with the worldly things uh, that are not uh, forever. That things are not forever. Okay. He, even he enjoys the uh, uh, happiness 
he enjoys in happy, also happiness or also in pains hmm. but he is full of contentment he is uh, full of contentment hmm okay goddess lakshmi is always present on the face of contented person this is somehow important next is one who is free from happiness and sorrow in attainment and non attainment of things the person is said to be satisfied these are basically very very simple okay you can everybody can read it and they can understand one who does not desire for attainable things and enjoys happiness and sorrow especially such a gentle and virtuous person is content i think this is repeated uh, the person who has a contented mind is free from diseases and ailments despite being poor enjoys the pleasure virtues of the empire the person who has a contented mind who has a santoshi mind is free from every disease and ailment okay next the most important is satsangati the fourth part okay listen everyone that uh, we are uh, uh, till now everyone we can see uh, who is our close every, every time they say that you had to sit in good company yeah am i right yes ma'am good company plays a very effective role in our life okay in our behavior in our thinking that's why they always said that you had to live in a good company your friends must be uh, good or good behavior good thinkers okay good company helps everywhere in spreading the ocean of this world those mahatmas who protect the flower of flower of wisdom arising from good company attain salvation and there is good company a sad place of devoid of loved ones wealth becomes filled with people and wealth okay death death becomes a celebration and calamities are avoided these are avoided next is one should not abandon good company it greatly enhances the intelligence it greatly enhances the intelligence destroys ignorance and removes mental distress in complete this satsangati you can read this point or then it's done okay no matter how painful or compelling the situation may be a person should not abandon the company of good people in for a moment this gives rise to wisdom which removes the darkness of heart okay and this is the for um simply we can call uh, we call this sam vichar santosh satsang satsangati sam is ultimate happiness vichar is ultimate wisdom knowledge santosh is ultimate welfare satsangati is ultimate haste or speed this question can also they can ask in match this form okay anyone have doubt till now yes arti ji ainta ji usha ji no ma'am meanings are looking a little different um, what is haste and speed and how is it related to satsang hmm. in um, hindi notes it is mentioned gati ultimate gati agat speed in every kind of work in our thinking in our behavior in our work okay this is the outcome of being with in a good company yeah, yeah. if you remain uh, if you are following sham then you can get ultimate happiness if you are following vichar it uh, gives you ultimate wisdom if you feeling santosh following santosh it gives you ultimate welfare and satsangati ultimate haste in every work 
Okay. Yes, ma'am, it's clear. Hmm. Yes. Here is Sapta Bhumika of knowledge. Uh, I have I had one more slide had to add in this Sapta Bhumika. Okay. So now we just study Adi Vyadi. Okay. Anyone have um, problem? No. No. Okay. So discussing about Adi Vyadi. Adi Vyadi is the uh, we understand that uh, both are uh, uh, diseases. Adi and Vyadi. These are when our nadis are full of toxins. Then we faced Adi Vyadi. Okay. Here are uh, points which are showing that these are um, why Adi happened. Okay. Resurgence of strong desires. If you have strong desires, resurgence coming again. What's the meaning of resurgence? No, it's uh, as you said, um, the desires, strong desires coming and again and again. Mm -hmm. Strong desires means uh, vasna yukt. Okay. Different types, um, not that type of desires which are always in increasing, uplifting us. Not this type of strong desires. Okay. Uh, stupidity, misdeeds, living in bad places like crematorium, Shamshan, you have uh, know everybody. Yes, lack of yes, lack of food entering the nerves, aggravation of vat pitta kaf due to eating bad food. These are four. These are four karan cause. For Adi. Okay. That make a question. And uh, what the causes of Adi? And they they give four um, MCQs uh, from these from. Okay. And la lack of food entering the nerves. Path with cuff disturbance. Uh, living in bad places. Stupidity and misdeeds. Mis um, wrong work. And resurgence of strong desires these are the simply cause of adhi okay now i have to study um, from this light because this is the same um, wait for a wait. Okay, now this is visible. Yes, ma'am. No. Hmm. Pre preponderance of again ignorance about one's real state of bliss leads one perform wrong actions such as eating of unwholesome food living in unhealthy dwellings, doing things at untimely hours. Uh, you know, in hostel, we are doing untimely hours work or eating in midnight or sleeping in day, doing work in night. These all are the cause for Adi. And we also know this type of uh, work always get problems. Okay, association with the weak, wicked. If you live uh, that type um, in the friend circle, wicked person, evil thoughts, 
etc. These breed physical disease called Adija Vyadhi or secondary disease. Okay. These type of uh, these are the these are the cause. Okay. And these breed Adija Vyadhi or we can call secondary diseases. Okay. Anyone have doubt? Next is Adi's primary disease are two folds. This Adi has two types of two folds. Samanya and Sar. Samanya is ordinary and Sar is essential. This is two types of primary disease. You will also learn Adi is a primary disease. And Adija Vyadi, secondary disease. The former includes disease incidental to the body, while the latter is responsible for rebirth, to which all men are subject. Samanya are normally produced during the interaction with the world. Samanya are normally produced during the interactions with the world. Okay. This may be termed as psychosomatic ailments. Psychosomatic ailments are come under Samanya, ordinary, under Adi, primary disease. Psychosomatic ailments are coming under primary disease. Okay. When dealt with the with by suitable techniques and congenital atmosphere, Adis of the ordinary type with will vanish along with it and destroy the physical elements that is vyadis caused by these adis all vyadis are caused by these adis that is adija vyadi all congenital problems congenital problems are Which are we get from problems, uh, uh, diseases which we get at birth? Hmm. So uh, here are mentioned and congenital atmosphere. These uh, these type of sa samanya or we can say primary disease are psychosomatic elements are termed under this type of disease. That make a question. That psychosomatic elements are come under Adi's primary disease. Okay. Should we move uh, or anyone have doubt? These are the causes of Adija Vyadis, and these are the two types primary and uh, so ordinary and essential, Samanya and Sar. And how uh, Samanya caused by simply interaction with the world? These are the two categories of Adis, is it? Samanya and Sara? Yes, yes. Samanya is that which we get um, after birth. It can happen any time after birth. But uh, mm, Sara... Interaction. Mm, you say Sara leads to uh, rebirth. Hmm. And the ones that we get at birth are congen congenital, but uh, um, those come under Samanya is my understanding, right? Okay, okay, okay. Uh, listen, Samanya means ordinary. Uh, uh, Samanya are normally produced during the interaction with the world. That's the communicable diseases. Okay, or physical diseases which are get like headache, stress, these type of disease we are we are getting from outer world. Okay. I had asthma, TB, all type of physical diseases are come under uh, from outer interactions, from yes. outer world. Okay, these are come under Samanya. And SAR is congenital from birth. Like... Uh, uh, from birth, we can say by our sanskars, by our old sanskars, we get the sun. Okay.
everyone have got yes ma'am yes ma'am adi je vyadi that is the secondary or this is ma'am this is the same uh, in both two texts the, then there are different, different things between i have a question here ma'am what is the difference mm -hmm. between adija vyadi and samanya because adija vyadi is also a kind of secondary disease which only comes after um, interacting with the world samanya mm -hmm. also is um, coming after we interact with the world like communicable diseases and other kinds of diseases that we get mm hmm what is the difference between adija vyadi and samanya okay adija is a uh, samanya sar is two types of adija okay and adija is a primary disease there are two types mainly two types in adi vyadi we are, we have to study adija and adija vyadi one is adis and another is adija vyadi or secondary disease this is secondary disease adija vyadi and adija is primary disease okay adija consist ordinary and Are you getting my point? Yeah, but it's not very clear. I don't know mm -hmm. if others could understand, but okay, I okay. no problem. No problem. Uh, you give me one day tomorrow. I make a simple diagram to make you understand. Okay. Sure. Yes, ma'am. I, I also have... want to understand mm -hmm. Adi Chaviadi. Mm -hmm. What is Adi Chaviadi? Mm -hmm. No problem. tomorrow i can here is uh, more deeply i i had mentioned but if you had not um, firstly you had not understand this then it not was happen correctly okay so should we finish this class here no we will continue we'll just leave that there and you can go to the next slide is com completely slide now it remaining is adi vyadi based on adi vyadi and i i also know that this is um, very um, very uh, uh, that type of topic not word, easy adi vi adi is primary and uh, the the root cause right mm -hmm. so we can understand it that way adi might be the primary um, cause for the disease hmm right yeah so it listen. could be coming listen. from the okay. mind originating from uh, the mind things which okay, originate listen. from the mind uh, which lead to a disease in the body is that adi ja vyadi yeah so that is the um, adija vyadi um how do we call it a secondary disease okay listen uh, in uh, in main upanishad uh, sorry in yog vashishta the real text and in lagu yog vashishta we are studying from lagu yog vashishta but in mm -hmm. yog vashishta there is different there is differently mention adi vyadi and in lagu yog vashishta there is differently mentioned adi vyadi okay in this text um, uh, mentioned samanya sar but in this not mentioned means bo uh, both have uh, some some uh, different types of uh, divisions okay in my masters that type of problem we, we also face and i i also talk to um, uh, my teacher that please clear me this point also so that we in in paper we should not face problem okay yes ma'am so we end the class today and tomorrow we will study subkanika and adhyadi completely okay right
Um, uh, what are the other topics? How many days would it take? It's simply, um, I think, three or four, four days, yes. Another three or four days? Yeah. In syllabus, you can see, no? The uh, main is Sapta Bhumika uh, and Four Dwarpal and Adivadi. This is the main in complete text. Okay. Mainly questions from Sapta Bhumika in sequence or Four Dwarpals or Adivadi. Which problem is Adi? Which problem is Vyadi? Which is in four uh, MCQs? Which is the uh, cause of Adi, which is the cause of Vyadi. Okay. In Samanya uh, sir, very, very less chance to come questions. Okay. A anything which are in, um, what I say, yeah, hypothetical, or anyone have doubt in any type of that this, this is also correct, this is also correct. At that time, they, from them, no question can ask. Okay.